you need to start being private and keeping your mouth closed and not telling people the blessings that God has for you. We are all just tired of monitoring spirits. Ask any person that is private in real life why they are private. If you have never heard of the term loose lips sink ships, then this is the video for you. Because the moment you go to open your mouth and tell someone and be happy about it, you can tell the wrong person. And guess what? That person can have a monitoring spirit. And let me tell you something, if you don't use your discernment and your discernment is not built up and strong, you have gave the enemy keys to disrupt everything in your life, including your peace, your finances, anything. Because let me tell you something, why do you think when people say, I'm finna get a job, I'm finna get this house, I'm finna have a baby, anything else, stuff always starts to go wrong because they told such and such. Some people do not like you for real. Some people don't have good intentions with you for real. The enemy will use certain people in your life that you think is for you to disrupt everything. And he's sitting back waiting for you to open your mouth. Because what people don't know, they can't disrupt. What people don't know, they can't stop. The enemy can't stop something he don't know. So when you get a job and everything else, keep your mouth closed. Let me say some people all the time, when things is going good, people can feel it. Enemy knows when something is finna happen in your life. So he's gonna start causing chaos and disruption into your life because he know you may be tempted to open your mouth and say something. Then not only that, the same people that call you when stuff going wrong be the same ones that don't be there when something good go for you. Be mindful for that because people will rather see you at your lowest than rather see you at the top. Now, one thing you have to learn in life is that you're not money, you're not Nutella. So not everyone is going to love you. And social media has made us feel as if we need to share any and everything with everybody. One thing you have to realize is that not everyone that watches you is actually for you. They're not supporting you. They don't love you like you think they do. They don't care for you. They just care for the drama that you bring to them with your life. Now, this isn't the case with most people in terms of some people are just straight up nosy. It's not that they're wishing you dirty or they're wishing you good. They're just there. And the Bible speaks on envy and jealousy being sin. You can look at somebody and admire them and ask them the good things, but do you have a family member or a friend or a cousin that is always asking you about the bad things that are happening in your life? It's never anything good when you're telling your friend or your family member about a certain event in your life, there is a split second facial expression that they will show you. So whenever you talk to somebody and it will eventually come naturally to you as you're talking, but body language speaks a million words. When you are telling a story, that split second expression they have, whether it be a little smile or even a like a little smirk, when I tell you it is like that, you either catch it or you don't. But once you master the art of learning that body language, then you will know exactly who you're dealing with. And some people even go as far as praying for your downfall. That's why I don't get everybody to pray for me, child, because I don't trust a lot of people. These people will get down on their dirty, rotten knees and pray for somebody else's downfall. Now who they're praying to, I know it ain't my God. It ain't my Jesus. So just be mindful of the people you keep in your circle. Not everybody is your friend. Stop oversharing. I know therapy can get expensive, but at this point, if it means keeping your peace, it's gonna be worth it. So if you're sitting at your house and you're like, I wonder why this isn't going well for me. I wonder why that isn't going. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, who have I shared or overshared or stepped my boundaries and oversharing my information with. I know I get on social media and I talk my butt off and I say whatever I want to say, but the truth of the matter is I am an extremely private person. There's a lot of people who can claim they know me, but at the end of the day, you just know my name. You do not know my story and I will never share parts of me with anyone, especially not on social media. And once you guys get the grip on that because there's a lot of people that trauma dump that overshare that if you have a business plan or if you have some type of plan don't be coming up on social media talking to people about every situation you're going through in order to reach your goal 
Sometimes they're the roadblock to your goal because they know exactly the steps you're taking to get where you want to get. Don't tell anybody about your blessing until you have received it. And even then, I still wouldn't tell them because it's none of their business. I see so many people on social media talking about some, oh, I'm going through this right now and I'm going to I'm gonna find a way to do this and go about it this way. But girl, not everybody that is watching you is for you. And these monitoring spirits also have a sense of entitlement. If you stop posting or whatever the case may be, they're the first ones to text you. Are you okay? Are you this? Are you that? This is where discernment comes in place because not everyone is a monetary spirit. I'm not saying go haywire, go crazy about, oh, this person may be, this person may be, relax. Stop oversharing and they will reveal themselves to you. If you have to go as far as blocking someone for your own peace, go ahead and block them. And also let it be a lesson to yourself that you do not have to share anything that goes on in your life. Find a close friend, one or two, where you can talk about things where you know they just genuinely love you. They're not preying on your downfall. They just care for you and they don't see competition in your success because that's a whole nother story. Now this is a trick that I've done, not saying do it, but you can do it if you want to. I have even gone as far as trolling. You just say something untrue about yourself to that person and just see how much they hate you. <laughs> You say one untrue thing about yourself. They will take the information you've given them and run with it. And then you're like, girl, why are you moving like a snake? You are literally a hissing person. You're hissing. You are a snake. You are a surveillance camera. You are capturing every thing in my life and filtering it to all the bad things so you can turn around and spit them right in my face. I think I realized the reason why a lot of us are so fed up with Instagram. We are all just tired of monitoring spirits. And I've noticed there are really a lot. I used to think like, oh, social media is not that serious and I wouldn't take certain things to heart. But you will be surprised how many people are calling themselves your friends or supporters or whatever, and they will make it their job to make sure they watch everything, but won't like, won't repost, won't support, nothing. And I used to think I was crazy. Like these people will watch every single story, every single video, always in your views. And it's so many people that I noticed do this. Monitoring spirits are people that don't support you. You don't know how they feel about you behind closed doors, but they make sure they're on set to watch every single one of your moves. And I don't know about y'all, but that feeling is very uncomfortable to me. Over time, I've like even hid my story from certain people or like, you know, I'll make our pages unfollow each other because it's not in a way of like beef, but it just be weird. Like the energy just be weird. And for the comment warriors who are going to come in and try to purposely misunderstand what the fuck I'm saying, I'm not saying that even your friends have to be on and care about every single one of your posts. I'm specifically talking about the people who seek out your content 24 seven, but never support it. It's very weird. And it's like, you have to ask yourself, why do people do that? And at that point, I'm not the type of person anymore that it's like, oh, I want to post to show off. It's like, I like being surrounded by people who genuinely support me, whether it's online or in real life. So you don't have to follow me. I don't need you to see my content. I don't need the attention. I will not lose my mind if I lose a fucking follower. I'm just saying, like, I don't know if anybody else is going through this, but I'm genuinely tired of monitoring spirits. And I really had to think about why certain platforms just don't resonate anymore or excuse me resonate as heavily ask any person that is private in real life why they are private nine times out of ten they will say because i know that it will be hard for people to be happy for me i know that deep down inside some people they just not gonna be happy for me it's like an unspoken language. It's an unspoken language. Private people also tend to be the ones that don't talk as much as everybody else. They don't. So it gives them the opportunity to observe. And through their observations and their calculations, nine times out of 10, 
they know that they have to remain private because these people are not people that would be happy for me. These are not people that would speak life into me. These are not people that can share this joy with me because they don't have access to it in their life. So how in the world can they possibly share it with me? That was a sermon right there. See, the hardest lesson for me transitioning into adulthood and you know what I'm saying? Once that innocence is gone and stuff, it's like you start to realize the real world, okay? And in the real world, most people, they're just not going to be happy for you, baby. They're just not, okay? Congratulations, you now know the truth. Most people that you encounter will not be happy for you. And you will be shocked by how close those people are. It could be your family. It could be the, the the womb you came out of. It could be the person that helped create you. It could be the hate be so close. That's the reason why a lot of people live private lives because we already seen, we done seen it. And as you get older, you don't got time to be getting your feelings hurt Monday through Sunday. It's just easier to be like, you know what? I'm going to just be private. Like, I ain't got, I really, I really don't got to tell nobody nothing I got going on. I really could just live my blessed life and I really can live it on the low, right? Yeah, I could do that. That's an option. <laughs> That's why a lot of people go that route. You don't got to explain nothing. You don't got to watch your back. You don't got to worry about people telling your business. You don't got to worry about, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got fake friends and stuff like that, it's like, no, get you about one or two folks that you know you can trust. Okay? This this how my setup is. I got about two people I trust with everything. I have a therapist. I read my Bible from time to time. I'm not a Christian, but I do read my Bible from time to time. That is enough for me. That's enough for me. I don't got to get on, on social, social media and in my workplace and spill everything I got going on. It's... it's it's very, very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. <laughs> Aunt Judith, and just focus on my words and not my wig, honey, because I know it's stiff. It's cold outside, and I was going on my walk, and I was just thinking. 2023 have exposed the most ugliness in people, and it, one of them was jealousy amongst friendships and relationships. And I'm going to tell you something. If you have people that you just met, and you just met them this year or in the past, like, two years, but you didn't meet them long enough, but you keep, like, wanting to get close to them, but you nervous because you don't know them like that, time and time does not determine how close it's the spirit of what that person is operating in some of y'all got people that are actually so happy for you you just met them y'all like why do i feel like this and i didn't feel like this with this person that was in my life for 10 years and 15 years it's because god is giving you new company he's putting new people into your life that has some integrity that's not talking about you behind your back that's not happy that you're going through stuff that is not um coming into your life to talk about your your situation but they actually come in to help and bring solution because they know that you're a good person they're not one of those people that gonna get on the phone with you after you done told somebody your whole everything how your car got repo how your lights off and this person take that opportunity to be like oh girl yeah i got my new car so what's going on with your reposition dang your life still off because i'm guaranteed they done told your business to other people you got to have movers and shakers in this season jealousy has arose people are happy that you are going through certain things that's why again i'm gonna give you the d you need some d you need the d and not the d that y'all thank you that y'all need because y'all don't need that either y'all need discernment y'all need to be careful about who you are connecting yourself to and telling your business to because people that you know and you think because y'all have history that is why y'all are in the dumps because y'all have people because y'all been friends since the sixth grade since the first grade oh my mama and my mama we all grew up on the same street ah dead all of that let me tell you something if i got somebody in this season that love me i don't care if i just met them last week and they genuinely concern the spirit of what it is it operates in god would expose it some of y'all been looking at that person side eye yes yes they've been talking about you like a dog 
They've been talking about you like a dog. They happy that it's happening to you. They are a monitoring spirit. And because they in your camp, they so close by, you not able to see it. Some of y'all got boyfriends and girlfriends that every time you trying to, that's why your business can't get up off the ground because they holding your nuts. They holding your nuts. And ain't nothing worse than a jealous boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse. I'm talking like if you ever just sitting down and you just feel somebody watching you, you look across the room and he kind of make a face or she make a face at you. You better move, you better get up out of there. You better run, you better run and don't look back. You better run and don't look back. If you got somebody that when you got a business, you could be selling cookies and getting your cookie business off the ground and they take that opportunity to say a dig at you about your little business or they try to throw off on you or say a little something in jealousy, I'm telling you, y'all don't ignore the signs. Don't ignore the signs. Get to them people. God want to network you around people that really got your best interest and heart. And do not think, let me tell you some family too. Family too. It could be your sister. Y'all can come out the same womb. And that's the hurtful part. Yeah, once that, that make you feel and you heal up, I'm telling you, ask God direction on how to move. You don't got to be nasty to these people, but I'm telling you, ask God to show you how, Lord, how to get this person that did this. Like, God sometimes will operate a spiritual surgery and he is not going to leave the wounds open. Some of, the, some of the things that God has already showed you, he done already cut these people off. Y'all keep reopening up that wound. Y'all keep reopening opening up that stitch work that he done already sewn up to try to get yourself back into them good places. Lead them people where they at and go grow. So if there's anything you need to learn about this video is keep quiet. Keep your mouth shut about the plans that are happening in your life, about the blessings God is trying to give you in your life, but you keep blocking them because of your mouth. The Bible speaks so greatly about the power of the tongue. And so you're here praying for your success while your friend, your bestie is over here praying for your downfall. To avoid having that, keep quiet.